Hey, everybody. I'm Monty Mott. And I'm Tiff. And I'm George. And these are a few of our favorite things. my brother right there guys <laughs> we are back once again another great episode of our favorite sings it is a blessing to be with you guys of course first off let's get to it tiff how you doing i'm great how are you i am good i am good tifton got all done up for us today y'all you see she, we 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 gonna talk about that later we i got gonna... a long day ahead of me today yeah, see, i have so you know, many things going on today we, we got company here <laughs> So we're going to get past that. <laughs> very quick backstory. This is a uh, special guest. Me and him met when I was very, very early in Vegas. Uh, we worked together. Me, him, and his wife, we were all there in that craziness at the Palms. <laughs> and, uh, he, he told me back then how he was uh, in music a little bit, and he was actually um, doing DJ and stuff. And I was always intrigued by that. And we had some great talks about music. And so uh, season two, we, we keep in with the first. We've never had an actual DJ on the show, but we got one today. Name is, of course, George Flores, but he goes by DJ Joji. How you doing, man? How you doing today? I'm doing good. Thank you for having me. Hey, man. All good. All good. <laughs> yeah, Thank you, know. you so much for coming on. We're going to get into his style. We're going to get into how he got it started and all that and, and, and then some. But uh, so I'll, I'll start off with the questions this time. So let's just get to it. How did you get started as a DJ? Was this, you know, when I knew you again, it's been, you know what, seven, eight years ago, you were doing yeah. it. But is it something you always wanted to do or you kind of fell into it? Well, actually, it started when um, I was about 18, I would say something like that. Um, the crazy thing was that back then, you know, I, I didn't have a DJ set. But so I kind of created my own little, you know, <laughs> two stereos on the side to side. Nice. And uh, I actually had, um, I bought like this little mixer. It was actually for recording videos in uh, or audio audio into your videos so I use that as my little mixer so I can uh, transition between one song and the other <laughs> the funny thing was actually my first uh, gig was actually a high school party and that's uh, kind of where I started being like hey I kind of like this I kind of <laughs> like making people dance you know what I, I, I want to keep this going somehow you know? <laughs> nice what are some of the what are some songs that you find inspirational to your style and what what DJs have you learned from well hard style is actually one of the genres that I'm more attached to uh, when it comes to DJing uh, and uh, one of my first inspirations was actually uh, Headhunters. Uh, he was uh, one of the first DJs who created actually the scene of hardstyle. And so I, I thought it was pretty cool how like, you know, one person can create a, a new genre and, you know, it blows up eventually, you know, and that was, for me, that was one of my inspirations which make, get me started. And uh, it's actually one of the reasons why I also started making music myself as well. Nice. Okay, so man, first of all, let me tell a quick story. So hardstyle, if you guys check it, it's his own kind of feel and genre of music. And I remember way back we were working in, and, and DJ was, DJ Joji was explaining it to me because I'd never heard of it before. And then I, don't, I know you don't remember this, man, but then I started messing with you a little bit. <laughs> you gave me this real intricate thing about hardstyle. So then I was like, oh, okay, so you a DJ like Steve Aoki. <laughs> and you was like, no, 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 not like Steve Aoki. I was like, oh, my bad, my bad. You know, like Danger Mouse. He's like, no, no, see, not those guys <laughs> i was playing with you but it is its own genre so but let's let me i want to ask even for people who don't know anything about it what do like djs do people just see the guy kind of with the knobs and doing this and that. yeah you know can you break down i know everybody has their own style and people work with different equipment but what are you actually doing at the table well uh yeah, there's a lot to it you know um i know most djs or at least uh majority of people think it's just press and play <laughs> which right. i mean i can see that some people have come to the you know to that point but uh when it comes to me djing i, I mean I, I i do a lot when it comes to uh, i always have to it's all about hearing um 
knowing what part of the song I want to transition to so it sounds seamless so you, you know it sounds perfectly good and you know, keeps you going keeps you dancing um I so it, there's a lot to it it comes to like you know controlling the um the EQs on that so like you know when you come to transition you always want to kill uh, the lower frequencies in one song and you know so then switch them around so like that you you know you don't you don't have two songs going on top of each other and it just sounds really bad you know so I mean this comes to controlling uh sounds when it, with uh, equalizing it and uh, I mean once in a while you kind of just mess around with the effects you know just you know so you just put more rhythm more you know more craziness out there <laughs> and also when it comes to um transition you have to make sure you pitch in uh your sounds uh and your audios so they can go at the same vpm you know so you don't want one so, song going w- way faster than the other and I'm real quick so when you're saying transition you really mean when one song is ending and you're playing the next. another song that's what the trend just for people who might not know yeah so you, that's why you're saying you got to kind of make one fade out and then the other one comes in correct yeah out. okay <laughs> Okay, so your job as a DJ is to keep the party going. So how do you connect with your audience and know what to play and when? Uh, actually, uh, when I first uh, started playing um, to the public, I usually usually play the top 40s, you know, everybody, what everybody liked, you know. Yeah. But uh, but I noticed that uh, it, it, it was like a 50-50 in the crowd. Like the crowd would be like, okay, yeah, cool, this is a pretty cool song. But then the other would be like, okay, you know, this song's played out, everybody always playing it, you know. So eventually, uh, when I read the crowd like that, I started realizing, you know what, okay, what's what's better? You know, like the popularity or something that's just going to make you move or make you dance, you know. So eventually, I, I my selection of music was more about what making you move than popularity. And um, I noticed that uh, when I did those changes, uh, my crowd was just getting more pumped up, you know. And that's what I like to see. I like to see the crowd going crazy. And if I see them going down, I'm like, okay, I need to, you know, switch it up and put something that's going to get them going. <laughs> nice yeah man okay I, w- I got a quick little extra question before we go to break but um you talked about that where the dj's job is to keep the crowd engaged you know and so how when did you really learn even with the hard style because like you said you're playing 40 stuff but different crowds want different stuff so how did you know okay this crowd is a hard style crowd the kind of music i want and you know merging the two together when did you like okay i'm gonna play this music and this crowd is gonna like it you know what i'm saying well um the events that i do are mostly a hard style events uh, so it, it's something that we do between um uh, me and my friends uh we're all into that kind of music and so when, when we do events like this we always you know we everybody already knows what kind of music is going to be playing. So we already got that crowd coming. And so from that, that's the reason why, uh, you know, we, we, we really know who, who's going to like what, <laughs> but, um, but there has been times where I have have to DJ like a, a bar or you know, a place like that where, yeah, I did have to change my music because even though I, I tried playing hardstyle, like, a lot of people didn't like it. Of course, you know, it's something that it's <laughs> not everybody's going to enjoy, especially since it's such a uh, fast paced music. You know? <laughs> All right. Well, listen, we're going to take a quick break um, and stay with us. We got more coming with DJ Joji. We got some more questions and things just to pick his brain. So guys, stay right with us right after this break. There's armor. And then there's God's Armor. God's Armor Athletics is a new workout clothing brand designed to keep you comfortable while you train and be stylish at the same time. In addition to their affordably priced clothing that has an expanding selection of colors and sizes, they offer training sessions. These training sessions can be one-on-one or in a group setting. This is definitely a company that you can put your trust and support in. So please check out their website at godsarmorathletics.com or on social media at God's Armor Athletics. I highly recommend their clothing brand. It's super comfortable and versatile. So check them out at God's Armor Athletics. You will not be disappointed. Hey guys, we're back. To me, it's Tiff. We got a real live DJ on the scene. Our first DJ. Our first DJ. Yes. And he's already gave us some great, um, some great answers already. And he's, uh, he's, 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 he does hard style. But of course, we just talked our last question with him. He is versatile. You know what I'm saying? If you still want to book him for your kids party, he could do that too. <laughs> but um, so Tip, I'm going to give it to you for the next one. Go ahead. Okay, so I just have a, a, a quick question. I we've we've talked about hard style. Can you tell us what that is exactly? What type of music is hard style? Hard style is, is electronic music. 
uh, but it's uh, considered to be more uh, fast pace. It's, well, it's a little much faster than a, when a normal, you know, like uh, dance music. I mean, normal dance music, you're running between like 128 uh, beats per minute uh, to like 135, like the most. Uh, hard style runs from uh, 150 beats per minute and it goes higher than that. You know? okay. um, and it involves a lot of distortion um, and it, it's just a completely different. It's more aggressive music technically. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Is it similar and, to like techno? Yes. No. Um, I mean, it does have you know it does origin from you know uh, when it comes to techno. Okay. Uh, but it, it eventually the the style change. Um, and uh, when it comes to like the punches, like the kicks, uh -huh. each DJ usually makes creates their own kick. So it's not like a normal kick like you hear from uh yeah, like house music. It's just like a boom, boom, boom. Hard style kicks are involve more distortion and involves like is to create pretty much a hard style kick. It, it's, it's it's crazy. <laughs> like you, it, it takes time to just even make a kick, you know, and then from there create a whole song. But uh, if, when once you listen to hard style, you can kind of uh, you can tell the difference between each kick. Uh, each DJ does completely different kicks when it comes. Got it. Okay, well, let me stay with that real quick because that was a good question, Tiff. Now, George, you and you and Crystal used to, your wife, Crystal, you guys would go to EDC. I remember you mm -hmm. always telling me that. Now, is EDC, I, and I've never been, is that kind of a primarily hard style event or do they do a lot of different things and hard style is featured in that? EDC is actually a uh, different variety. So, if you're under us, the hard style actually started in 2011 uh, in EDC. Uh, EDC has been going on since like the 90s, 95, I believe, something like that. Mm -hmm. And hard style finally hit the scene on 2011 and from there on they started making their own stage uh but no yeah edc involves different different genres you got dubstep you know techno um uh, house me uh you know electro house uh, all kinds of genres and edc that's electric they uh Daisy. electric Daisy. carnival yeah okay mm. there we go for those who don't know okay i just i just want to get that in i remember you guys go <laughs> dressed up <laughs> do all of that so yeah everyone believes that they can dj a little bit right yes. um what <laughs> separates a good dj from a bad one well some djs you know they just have the idea of pressing play <laughs> and that's me those i'm the ones those are the ones I believe that fat DJs because their, their mentality thinks it's, it's, it's such a simple yeah. thing, which is not really, you know. Uh, bad DJs also, comes to, when it comes to transition music, you can just tell right away that <laughs> you, they're jumping from one song to the other. Yeah. And it's it, not it a smooth horrible. kind of. Yeah. Yeah. It sounds horrible. <laughs> I catch that a lot. You know? But I, uh, so that's what I feel like it, it separates, you know, a good DJ yeah. from a bad DJ. It's just yeah. knowing your music and, and, and really knowing how to transition. And if you can't do that, then Sorry. <laughs> you're not doing good. From guns and roses to Barry White. It is it's not gonna work. You gotta do a better transition. <laughs> yeah. And I wanna say this just because you good with the aux cord in the car, don't mean you a real DJ. That's yep. we got a lot I feel of attacked right now. See, that's what I feel attacked. <laughs> that's a whole different everybody <laughs> think they got the skills. Yeah. See, y'all listening to a professional, he just told you it's really about them transitions. Sure, you want to play your jam. But after, what's the next song coming? It's got to flow. See, yeah. that's, yeah. that's why you're on here today, man. You got to be seamless. <laughs> well, I'm a road trip DJ. I'm I'm prepared <laughs> for that. Like, I, you know, I'm ready for that kind of kind of stuff. I got to get my transitions down, but I think I got a good flow. Okay, so let's get to kind of a serious uh, little bit, serious topic. So now the pandemic, of course, uh, we've had COVID-19. It's been a year now, a little bit of a year, I think, maybe especially well in this country has hit hard. And so for a lot of people like yourself, uh, DJ, where they do, you know, clubs and live events and parties and things like that, all that's been shut down or yeah. was for a while. I mean, yeah. things are slowly coming back. Um, how do you feel going forward? Or, you know, like, do you feel like things will get better quickly because the summer's coming up? And I know a lot of people are antsy, like, man, I really want to do something on that. Do you feel like the business is going to kind of open back up or is it still more of a gradual thing? I feel that we, yeah, it needs to gradu gradually because uh, um, right now, yeah, I mean, we, we all want to go back to having fun. I get it, you know, it, but there's still a lot of risk, you know, when yeah. it comes to this. You know? um, and, and the problem is that a lot of people just don't want to follow rules, you know, and and even though if we do decide or it does come back up, I mean, people are always going to, I don't know, they're just they're going to follow the rules. So, and, and I can see where that, you know, the problem starts from again, again from there. And, and I, I really don't, I don't really see it coming up like pretty soon. Uh, I mean, and, and as much as I want it, you know, but I feel like it's still a risk. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, I can, I can understand that. It, it is more about safety than anything else. And uh, I know that some people just, uh, especially I, I feel bad for musicians and performers and actors and people in plays because they just, they need that audience and they, and they haven't had it. So I, mean, I think that if we just can, everybody can do right for a little bit longer, then yeah. things can yeah. kind of open up. So. Yeah. Get back yeah, to I mean, that's, that's why we, I mean, there's a lot of live streams right now uh, with people DJing, you know, on, on their house. I mean, I, I feel like that's, uh, it's, it's a little better. I mean, you kind of get a little entertainment, you know, off of that. Yeah, D, DJ, uh, D Nice, he kind of started that whole, I remember he's doing live sessions and yeah. everybody started coming in. Pandemic parties. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah there you yeah. go. Yeah. But actually, uh, you actually brought that up. Uh, um, it actually has caused a conflict when it comes to pan uh, pandemic parties because uh, we actually had uh, well, Pasquale, which is the guy who I'm not gonna put in my bad place, of course. You know, he, he's an awesome guy, and, and you know, with us EDC, uh, but it did uh, it did create a little backlash when it came to doing live streams. A lot of people were having house parties with the live mm. stream, which kind of was a big you know no no because <laughs> we were still supposed to not be gathering exactly yeah. Yeah. yeah how far would you like to go in terms of being a dj like is there anyone that you want to collaborate with um yeah i mean i mean there's been cases where like uh, uh like I, I would like to advance and go high, you know, higher but uh, i mean in probably maybe eventually uh you know mixed with someone famous or you know popular at least um but I had my, you know, my uh, chances of actually DJing with uh, some of the local DJs here and, oh. you know, done things together. And it's actually pretty awesome. It's pretty cool. Like when you actually work with someone who likes the same things you like, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Listen, man, we're about to wrap it up. I really appreciate the time. And uh, I, I love that you know exactly what you're talking about because, uh, you know, you were talking about even with the beats per minute with hard style runs about 150 now you know i'm i come from church you know so when we do like uh praise breaks if they will you know we run in about 160 100 i set the track you know 160 165 so yeah and hard style ain't too far away from what we doing. <laughs> right <laughs> we're doing there but uh real quickly man just let people know where they can find you uh get in touch with you if they want to hear some of your music or you know they got questions you know young people the one you want to get into the music biz on dj let them know where they can uh check you out Oh, well, you can find me on Facebook um, under DJ Joji, uh, and, or you can uh, Instagram, which is at DJ Joji 88. Um, yeah, if you want to add me, go ahead. I'll be there. <laughs> nice, man. Well, we appreciate the time. We got our first DJ here now. You know, you on the roster, man. I'm telling you, when we do our music thing, we got so many musicians and singers we know. Now we got a DJ on set as well. So, man, thank you for the time. Tiff, you got anything else? Thanks so much for coming on. Yes. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Man, man, you were excellent. I appreciate it. Please say hey to Crystal as well. Man, all of my people. Palms people, I hope y'all watch this. You know, we miss y'all. It's been a long time. Yep. It was a crazy yep. crew. <laughs> we, got, we could do a whole nother show on them stories, but uh, you guys, check us out. Of course, you know where to find us at our favorite scenes on Instagram. You can go to the Mighty Sharp Network on YouTube. Please subscribe, y'all. We need some more subscribers. We're trying to hit some numbers and things like that. It'll be a help for us as well. But as always, you know what to do, man. Be blessed to stay sharp. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Thank you.